Right, let's talk Burnley. We've obviously got Burnley on Monday and listen, no West Ham fan ever looks forward to playing Burnley and, and you've got to give a lot of credit and I said this last time out when we played in to Sean Dyche because of how he's really utilised the players that he's got at Burnley and the lack of a transfer budget that he has. We're coming up against a team that is well drilled, well organised. I know people talk about it being a, a boring 4-4-2. The better way to, to look at it would be the fact that it is a pragmatic 4-4-2. You've got the goalkeeper and Nick Pope, who for me should be starting for England. I think he's working on his distribution at the minute to compete with Pickford. What I like about him as well is the fact that he isn't necessarily going and rushing out and making rash decisions. He's got two centre-backs in front of him and me and Tarkovsky that are making those decisions for him and keeping him in the goal and allowing him to be good at what he is good at. And that is, of course, shot stopping. We talked about the two centre-backs in me and Tarkovsky. Ironically, me made a mistake last time to let Mikel Antonio in. But the reality is there's, there's a possible lack of mobility there. But in terms of the air, very strong, really well organised, narrow, compact, They'll tuck in as well, those two fullbacks. It'll be Loughton probably on the right-hand side. Eric Peters on the left-hand side. And again, these players aren't necessarily the best in the league. They aren't They aren't outstanding in, in certain attributes. But what they do is they understand their role. They understand what they need to do to, to really minimise the space in those central areas. And whilst West Ham did beat them 1-0 last time, it wasn't an easy game until Burnley started playing that higher line and pushing on to West Ham and introduced Dwight McNeil that we really began to create even more chances. The midfield, again, pragmatic. Brownhill, Westwood, decent on the ball, well-rounded football players. I, I, I'd hazard a guess that they're probably not the most athletic. They're limited, I think, in terms of playing the ball forward, in terms of introducing the ball into the likes of a, a Chris Wood or a Matteo Vidra. And I think because of that, it does mean that they are looking to just conserve the ball at times, allow Burnley to keep possession. And we may see that in this game where Burnley... If West Ham are, are countering or transitioning really effectively, that those two all look to play the simple pass back to me and Tarkovsky. You've got the two wide players. And this is really where Burnley tend to thrive. The player for me that West Ham have got to look out for is Dwight McNeil because of how good he is on the ball. He's their most gifted player on the ball in terms of the ball carrying ability that he has. I've rewatched the game against Burnley last time out. West Ham was scared to get too close to him because of his, of his close control on the ball. He's got brilliant deliveries. He can play out wide. But interestingly enough, Sean Dyche almost gave him that freedom to pick up that 10 roll. And I wonder whether that gives West Ham a few issues, particularly if Mark Noble does play in this game. So he is their most dangerous player. And I would expect to see him on the left-hand side. The right-hand side, you've probably got an option of either someone like a Goodmanson or possibly a Brady. Either or, really good deliveries into the box. And that is where Burnley, if they do get into the final third, are most effective. Deliveries to someone like a Chris Wood, Vidra running off him and possibly pushing Brownhill a little bit further up to give him a little bit of support. If West Ham can try and nullify those wide areas a little bit, Burnley's creativity is obviously lacking in the midfield areas, then I think it will be a lot more of a comfortable afternoon for West Ham. And of course, we're going to have to talk about the front too. Last time it was Barnes and Wood and West Ham dealt with it incredibly well. And that was because Burnley's strikers there's a lot asked on them in the lack of creativity they do have in those midfield areas. Those strikers are asked to go and stretch the channels a little bit, get close to each other, get flick-ons, try and push Burnley further up the pitch. But West Ham typically very good in the air and that's where a lot of the ball is coming into someone like a Chris Wood. And when you when you begin to nullify that, the play breaks down and West Ham begin to recycle very quickly. The problem is Chris Wood normally against us tends to have a little bit of a field day. He didn't do last time, scored a hat-trick against Wolves. And I think this is why, for me, we are well suited to Burnley, but we can't switch off because I think if they get a chance in the box at any time during this game, someone like a Wood is going to thrive. The two centre-backs from set pieces equally. And also that that big man, little man combination, which I hate because it, it reduces it to such a simplistic idea. But the reason why it works is because ultimately you, you are getting bodies close to someone like a Wood. You are allowing Burnley. And, and listen, Burnley get a lot of stick for being a boring side, a side that aren't adventurous. That's not necessarily true. If Burnley can get the ball in West Ham's half, they will try and squeeze their midfield up a little bit. They will try and, conservatively speaking, push forward their fullbacks. And they will try and play a little bit of a high line to put the pressure on West Ham and get those deliveries into the box. So this isn't a foregone conclusion in terms of, you know, they're going to just leave someone like a Chris Wood or, or Barnes or Vidra or isolated. They're going to have to get men closer to them. And that is where West Ham possibly may benefit from. So that is what you can expect from that Burnley side. That's 
looks pretty much a predicted 11. I can't imagine it's going to change too much. And to be fair, Burnley, like West Ham, have very little options that they can bring on. But let me know in the comment section who you're most afraid of from Burnley. Is it Chris Wood? Is it Dwight McNeil? Of course, naturally, if you did enjoy the video, like it. Subscribe to the West Ham way if you're watching and you're new. I'll be back very, very shortly for my team that I would like to see against Burnley. A little bit more of a tactical breakdown in terms of the West Ham players and possibly how I would like to see us play against them come Monday evening. So until next time, everybody, take care.